Tokyo Electric Power Company will choose a new president. The operator of the Fuku,、uh, crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant will promote into its top job an executive in charge of compensation for nuclear accident victims. TEPCO plans to select Naomi Hirose as the next president in an extra board meeting on Tuesday. The 59 year old Hirose will officially replace the current chief, Toshio Nishizawa, in June after the company gains approval from shareholders. Hirose has been supporting the victims of the nuclear disaster. His promotion is seen as a bid to rejuvenate management and send the message that the firm is committed to its compensation duties. TEPCO faces mounting challenges. They include the decommissioning of damaged plants while providing a stable power supply. This is in addition to huge compensation payouts. The Japanese government approved a restructuring plan for Tokyo Electric Power Company. The move effectively nationalizes the operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Industry Minister Yukio Edano summoned TEPCO executives and told them that the proposal went through. Under the plan, TEPCO will receive about $12.5 billion in public money. This will also allow the utility to file an application to the government to raise its power rates for households by about 10%. TEPCO will also receive additional financial support from the government to compensate the victims of the nuclear disaster. The firm plans to pay about $10 billion to those afflicted. However, some hurdles remain before the plan can be implemented. Restarting a nuclear power plant in Niigata Prefecture is a precondition. It's unclear whether TEPCO can get the necessary approval of the local community and regional government. Tokyo Electric Power Company, which operates the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, is hoping to raise household electricity rates by about 10% as part of a restructuring plan. President Toshio Nishizawa submitted a rate hike application to the Natural Resources and Energy Agency on Friday. TEPCO says the nearly 10.3% rate increase would raise the monthly electricity bill of an average household by about $6. Nuclear power plants across Japan have gone offline following the accident at the nuclear power plant in March of last year. The utility has been struggling with higher costs of fuels like natural gas. It does need those for thermal power generation. TEPCO has also been negotiating with industrial users to raise power rates. The operator of Japan's Fukushima Daiichi plant is seeing another year of huge losses. Joining me now is Ron Madison with more on that. Ron? Yeah, not a huge surprise there, Sherry, with、uh, all that's happened、uh, with the company, all the、uh, debt that it's taken on since the March 11th、uh, nuclear disaster.、Uh, Tokyo Electric Power Company, though, as you say, has indeed reported a second consecutive year of net losses for the fiscal year that ended March. The operator Of the crippled Fukushima nuclear power plant has also announced a new management team. TEPCO said Monday that its net loss came to about $9.8 billion in fiscal 2011. It's blaming the loss on fuel costs for thermal power generation. They climbed by more than $10 billion from the previous business year. For the current business year, the company is hoping to slash the loss to about $1.3 billion by raising electricity rates for companies and households. On the management change, meanwhile, TEPCO said half of its new senior officials will come from outside the company to monitor its business performance closely. The new chairman will be Kazuhiko Shimokobe. He currently heads a committee at a state backed nuclear compensation fund. TEPCO executive Naomi Hirose will be promoted to president. He has been in charge of compensation for victims of the nuclear accident.